Welcome back to Headcase Gaming. I'm Jake. I'm Travis. And I'm Wilma. <laughs> and every time we do this, they forget who goes next. We don't, we don't I mean, have the set. set pattern. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. All right, but giving you shit, man. before I was so rudely interrupted by the amazing uh, voice acting in that last episode. And Iris by Goo Goo Dolls. The, the Juju Dolls. No, we were talking about the Batman Hellbat armor. Yeah. So I like that. Yeah, so this is oh, fuck. this is armor. Oh, it was armor it that was crafted by Superman in the center of the sun, because they knew the Batman was probably the best hope for humanity. Just how how smart he is, how Since good of a strategist. Superman's too white bread. Yeah, and he like just and this is the era when Batman got real badass and he was he would actually kill people, killing motherfuckers. Yeah, like it was that ridiculous. But the only problem was it it took his metabolism to run it. Like, oh, so he would, yeah, Jesus. he would, yeah. So he would very quickly lose energy and strength. So like it was the, you know, the ultimate most powerful armor, but he would die very quickly. So this armor is oh, just fuck. fucking badass. If you get a chance to look it up, and I've seen so many uh, comparisons, they'll do like you might have to hop out of the suit. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. So Iron Man also has an armor like this his ultimate armor it's called the bleeding edge armor and i just think these are so fucking cool like i've i've never been a comic book fan but getting into this stuff now that all the lore is just already out there oh yeah man and just looking it up it's so fucking awesome it, yeah it's sweet like when i was a kid batman was probably the oh, that oh my that's a big the general <laughs> when i was a kid uh the fucking Batman was pretty much the main go-to superhero for me. Absolutely. I, like, I loved I the Batman animated no series. Oh, oh, man, those were great. Mark Hamill. Oh, I fucking what? loved it. What about the livery boy, man? Uh, what? <laughs> but yeah, like, I... Futurama. I didn't read many comics, but I was super into the cartoons. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. And now that it's, like, it's getting bigger and more mainstream now, and, like, all that lore is out there, it's... It's a lot of fun to still, like, go in and check it out and be like, oh, I wasn't, like, super into this as a kid. I was into it, but I wasn't crazy nice. about it. And now it's all here. Now yeah. I can get into it. Like, you know, man. You know who else I've always been really, really into? Yeah. Hulk. Oh, yeah. Like, all the different versions of Hulk. Like, like I, So I never really thought that The Flash was that cool. I don't. I Holy. still don't. Fuck, dude. I actually like The Flash. He though. might be one of the coolest fucking superheroes. Uh, uh, Oh yeah, dude. I think the fact that they in the comics they told Fuck. they 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 put out that Flash could think so fast that he could react within an atto second. Yeah. yeah. Like you know how fucking fast that is? So like that's a millionth of a nanosecond, which is a millionth of a millionth of a second. When I first that's started ridiculous. I, dude, it's, when I first started getting I into the, the Flash, feel. like just watching the show, the yeah. new show. Hey, he's got pokeballs all over him. <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, I brought <laughs> it up. Catch them all. I brought it up at work with this one guy who was like kind of into the Flash, but not super into him. Uh -huh. And even then, he was just telling me like, oh. "No, dude, Flash is the best. Like, Flash can beat Superman." I don't not, know. Yes. So hey. not not super fucking Superman Prime, where he just goes to the sun and soaks it up for about five years, but. Like no, base ass Superman. No, fuck even, yeah, dude. even Flash, base Superman Flash though, in the comics, could fly at the speed of light. You know how fast the, the Flash I mean, can the, go? Yes, the Flash can do much. The much Flash better. can travel through time. Yeah. Because how fast? He so goes. could Superman. Yeah, if you flew after, around the Earth. Yeah, yes. after he fucking went to the sun and charged up. No, base Superman. He flew backwards around the Earth so fast. That he reversed the direction Man, of the Earth's spin that, and went back in time. That's like seventies fucking Christopher Reeve Batman that, or Superman. That ain't the same. I'm just saying. In the comics, the Flash outran Death. Yes. The Death Death didn't actually doesn't run fast. The Death can just oh, teleport. Shit. He could not teleport fast enough to catch up to the Flash, and eventually just gave up. And that's why they have to have the Black Flash, which is basically death for anyone that is, has some attachment Flash to the Speed abilities. Force. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you know who in comic book lore? Let's let's stick with 
Uh, actually, I don't remember if he was Marvel or DC now. Who? But who? Who in? Oh, I'll tell you. But who in comic book lore has the highest kill count? Oh, Probably shit, Punisher. Man. I don't know. And I don't it's know. it's not a hero. It's a villain. Apocalypse. Fuck. Nope. Worse than that. Well, I mean, there's an apocalypse in DC and in Marvel, yeah. so <laughs> it was Thanos. Oh, yep. With the Infinity Gauntlet. Yep. He has, Fuck. He so has which the, is what they're gearing up for in the yeah, movies. He has the registered highest kill count. Wow. Oh, but the back the 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 main reason this Hellbat armor was developed was to fight Darkseid, which is the DC version. Okay, yeah. Thanos was was Marvel. Yeah, Darkseid is Dark Side basically is, Thanos in DC. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why they developed this armor so Batman could Show fight against Darkseid. And Darkseid cannot be killed. Like, he's completely invincible. Like, he, he can't be killed. That's why they gotta send him to the fucking other dimension. Yeah. Yeah, but I've always... I've been a big-ass fan of the Hulk. And I think my favorite one was probably Red Hulk. If you guys remember Red Hulk I, at all. I do. I just don't remember why he was red. Red Hulk was the Hulk, but he still had Bruce Banner's mind. Oh, right. Yeah. So he was still that smart. Like... You know, damn near super level or super genius level intelligence, but he still had super strength. And most of the Hulk unending strength. rage. Yeah, like he he didn't have the full Green Hulk strength or so did Gray he, Hulk. Did he ever switch but, back to Bruce Banner? Or no, was he just, no, he was permanent. Oh, yeah. Shit. There's also there's a certain uh, Marvel series where the the universe ends, like the entire universe is destroyed. But the Hulk is the only one still alive because huh. he can't die. So he's he's left Super for all raging. of it. Yeah, he's well, he's just left for all of eternity because he can't die. Huh. He's just by himself. It's so fucking sad. Man, <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Yes, extra sucks. <laughs> they, yeah, they. Uh, I don't know how much you've heard about it or like looked into it at all, but they because. Like Sony or whatever still oh, has. I could jump right in. God damn it! Because you know how like Fox and Sony also have some rights to Marvel, Marvel movies. Yeah. They after right. Avengers came out and they like redid Hulk. Oh, everyone was cool super shit. excited for like a Hulk movie, and they're like, sadly, the like standalone Hulk rights we still don't have. Damn. So like they've always wanted to do like Planet Hulk and Hulk in space and shit. Yeah. And they're like. Hopefully we can figure it out in like one of the group movies, but otherwise we're fucked. Yeah, like it kind of sucks, but that's why everyone was like been getting super excited about Guardians of the Galaxy because it's like oh, space stuff, space stuff. They can they can put all in space. They can put all in space. Yeah, cool shit like that. Man, I fucking love comic books. Great, yeah. and like superheroes, some of the best fucking stories. I love it. Well, what's going on here? Huh? Oh, what? I'm getting a phone call. Oh. Let me text him back. Oh, uh, was it uh, Chody? Yep. Oh. Chody Foster. Why did it say new? New? Because uh, he had two different numbers. Oh. Uh, that was his newest one. It said Cody new, and I was like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> Who's the new Cody? <laughs> uh, <pfft>. <laughs> <laughs> he blew his chair up. <laughs> it was our destiny yeah, to but fight. I, I really like the Hulk storyline. Like, have you guys ever heard of the, uh, what was it? Was it Marvel Whoa. Undead, I want to say? Yeah. Where they all got turned into zombies? Zombies, yeah. Could you imagine a fucking Hulk zombie? Nightmare. Holy Solomon Grundy, I mean. Shit. Pretty much, yeah. Solomon Grundy, yep. Born on a Monday. Wait, wasn't that DC? Yeah, that's DC. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah it was. He, was a, he was a Batman villain. Yeah, they, uh, I think in the new Gotham show, they were talking about Solomon Grundy, and I was got excited. Dude, the guy who plays Jim Gordon oh, is so hot. <laughs> oh, he's so good. So hot. Fuck, man. Just all the fucking superhero shows right now are just awesome. They're killing it. And the superhero movies? Dude, I still haven't seen Avengers 2. And I want to what? so bad. It's pretty good. I want to see that Hulkbuster fucking Iron Man. Oh, dude. Oh, oh dude. So good. It's a great scene. So it's good. Great scene. See, the thing about, like... The Especially the Avengers movies, is they're just so like there's so much shit going on. It's really just about here's the overarching story, and we're yeah. gonna get somewhere with it. But really, we're just fucking watching. 
yeah. superheroes fight. And that's cool. Yes. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's something we need. You know what would be really we awesome? Had, we have had nothing but storyline <laughs> and stuff like that for years now. Yeah. That's awesome. But, uh, yeah. Um, what would be really awesome is a big budget, well produced Got him. Uh, nice. Dragon Ball movie. Oh, yeah, if we ever could. Yeah. They tried that. They tried in America. They're also I trying don't. Ghost in the Shell, Americanized. I don't know how I feel really? about it, but it has ScarJo, so I don't know. I'm torn. It's just, it's Americanized, so I only feel bad things to happen. Eh. I mean, just American adaptation to a Japanese style thing, it always, yeah. always kind of ruins it. It doesn't have to be bad. It just can be, you know? <laughs> just, you gotta be optimist. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to lie, folks. From here, I'm just probably going to run this episode through uh, farming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. As a, as a spoiler, if you want to just kind of like, oh, you're not going to fight the last guy yet? Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm going to... Come back next time. Yeah, come back next time. Yeah. And we'll keep talking about superheroes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So have y'all been watching? What shows have y'all been watching? Have you been watching any of them? Uh, I don't really watch that much TV. I watch Gotham when I can. Oh, uh, yeah. But not not a lot. If you ever get the chance, I would highly recommend the Flash, Flash. TV show. I've it's, seen like two, maybe three episodes. It's, it's good. Is good. It's, it's good. It's not it's so good. bad. In the bad. last episode, I, I don't know. Spoiler, what, spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, yeah, they fucking took away his powers. Who? The Flash? The Flash. How? So, through science... They could basically <laughs> science, God damn it. basically science. They could like suck the speed force out of Shit. out of him. Wow! And he had to willingly do it in order to get back one of his friends from Zoom. From what? Zoom. Zoom. I don't know what that is. He's a bad guy. Oh, okay. He's a bad guy, speedster. Of course. Like in the first one, there was Reverse Flash, and you know you have all your other supervillains, but fucking, they're no match for the Flash. Really? I mean, come on. What about Quicksilver? He's a good guy. Also uh, okay, I'm gonna sound really dumb right now, but I, there's like a storyline I remember yeah. uh, knowing about about like one superhero villain that's like super hard to beat and pretty much invincible, but uh, it turns out only one person can actually defeat him, and it turns out to be uh, uh, what's his name, Nicholas Cage played that as um, Ghost, Ghost Rider. Rider. Yeah, because he had the uh, ability to um, banish people to hell, and because of this particular guy was so bad, he could banish him. You can just look at him. It's, I forgot what the ability is called. Hey, look what it is. It's not a hey, look, one. it's a boss rush. Yeah, look at this. The what? Boss yeah. rush. I don't know what that is. A boss rush. Boss, boss what rush. You, what does that mean? Boss rush. It's when you fight all the bosses in the game. Why? Yeah. We already fought them. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to do but it this again? time you only get one health bar. Yep. And uh, each time you go back to that area, there's only one little health pellet thing you pick up. Oh. And it's not a full bar uh, healing it either. This guy's probably my favorite enemy. He looks fucking awesome. He, he's also a former friend of Zero's. Back when Zero And he does Hadoukens. Yeah. Is he seriously just fucking Ryu? Because he just did an uppercut too. Yeah, yeah. He might, he might be Akuna. Well, this is Capcom, by the way. Yeah. Akuna was always better than Ryu. Like, way cooler. I'm just gonna say that. Or Akuma. Akuma. Sorry. Yeah, I was like, Akuma what? Tekken? No, Akuma. No, the bad. Uh, the, uh, he was like the bad version of Ryu. The red demon thing, yeah. yeah. I didn't Way cool. Play Way cooler than Street Ryu. Fighter. I don't oh, know. My, my brother Ryan used to play the I, fuck out of Street Fighter. I'm really bad at fighting games. I am. I too. used to be good at them. I used to play a lot of them, especially like, Guilty gosh. Gear. I, I was a big fan of Marvel vs. Capcom. That was good. Really I can good. play some fucking uh, Smash. Yes, I've oh, heard yeah. you're actually Pretty. really, really good. I'm all right. <laughs> Wait, who told you I was really, really good? I don't remember. God damn it. No, it's just... Fuck you. I'm not that great. You're I'm pretty good. I'm okay. Yeah, from what I've heard, you're pretty goddamn he's good. Not, he's not so bad. He's not so bad. I can beat people <laughs> who are slightly. not good. Yeah. You probably beat me. Probably. I probably mean absolutely but beat I don't me. think you've ever really played much Smash. I have never played Smash That's in my prob- life. Yeah, then I, of course I would beat you. I would destroy you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to have friends who uh, never do aerials. They do ground combos and a lot of throws and stuff like that. And it was ridiculous watching them play. I didn't think you could play Smash that way. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're wow. different Different people are 
much better at their ground game. Like, oh, but the worst Little thing- Mac is shit once he's in the air. Yeah. Like, his power just drops off. But the worst thing is, like, because they're so fucking good at the ground combos, you can't do shit to them. Yeah. Like, you know, you're, you're, I'm used to aerial stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you get me against someone who knows what the fuck they're doing, they'll probably destroy me. But, like, I'm... Oh, fuck. I jumped into it. I'm, like, mid-level play. I could beat people who don't play for fucking pros. Yeah. Wow, that was quick. But, like, anyone who knows what they're really doing and, like, oh, if I can fucking frame dodge this guy and then fucking dot and... Yeah, lots yeah. of frame dodging when I was watching them too. That was ridiculous. It's like watching a Dragon Ball fight. And there's like high level play with like that directional was... input for when you get hit. Like yeah. you can actually influence the way that you fly. But yeah. Well, how about we continue this next time? Okay. All right, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye. 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 Bye.